Okay, I had a few students asking about this lesson. I'm going to walk you through it um, and hopefully get you ready for the quiz. So basically, this is an ohm meter. It's the same tool that we are using, a uh, multimeter, but it records different uh, electrical connections. Um, so basically, with an ohm meter, you can measure the current in a circuit. The ohm meter is always connected in the series with the load. That's important to remember. It's like replacing the wire, meaning you can create an open in the circuit and place the measuring probes between the two points. This allows the meter to complete the circuit. Um, okay, so here, set the multimeter so you can measure direct current. So first thing we need to do is remember to move our wire here from volts and ohms over to amps. And then we're going to turn our dial down to amps because the blue A and the blue A should in uh, be in line. And then set it from DC to AC. Now let's check that. All right. It's moving on now. Okay. This question here says, click on the multimeter that could be used to measure the current through the lamp. Okay, so remember, we are gonna be in series with the load. So point to point and then load. We don't wanna be crossing the load. So it has to be this one here. The meter is connected in series with the load. Hang on. Sorry about that. I had a plug in. Now, second part of the lesson, question one, use the meter to measure current through one parking light. So parking lights here are R1 and R2. Uh, note, if possible to create a short circuit, with, it is possible to create a short circuit with the ohm meter. This is because when the meter is set to measure current, it has a low internal resistance. Therefore, if you accidentally connect the ohm meter in parallel to the load, current will bypass through the meter, potentially overloading the meter's fuse. You can measure the current by placing the meter in series with the load, for example, by removing a fuse and connecting the meter in its place. So that's what this question's about right here, is checking off of one of the parking lights. So we're gonna come over here and turn off the fuse. Now over here, we're gonna move our wire over again, set our dial to um, amps. It's over here on the AC. So we'll come over here and set our probe here and here. Notice how when I have this probe off, this lamps off. That's because the fuse is broke. But when I put this on, the meter acts as the electrical signal. It's, it's, it's been able to complete, there you go, the electric circuit. All right, so we see that it's three amps. The question here is the current through one parking light is three amps. So let's check that. All right, let's move on. Measure the current through the rear tail lights. Well, the rear tail lights are R3 and R4. So that's here, so they're all both coming through this one fuse. So we have everything in our meter is still set up. So let's break the fuse, bring our, our leads over, our lights turn back on, and we see we're having four amps. And that's correct. Now you're gonna follow the same process that I just showed you, measure the current through the dashboard lighting. The dashboard lighting is our five, six, and seven. You're gonna break this fuse, measure it, and get the reading and write it in right here. I will tell you this, it's not 
higher than two amps, it's less than that. So it should be pretty straightforward and hopefully you get it right. Let's move on to the next question. All right. Here it says measure the total current. To do this, connect the multimeter across the switch between two and three. Observe what happens and then click check. Okay, so let's come up here and do what it says. Put our leads up here on two and three. Uh-oh, the meter turned off, but it says to check. You see this little rectangle here? It looks like a fuse. This is correct. The current is greater than 10 amps, which overloads the fuse, causing it to blow. You can replace the fuse by clicking on it, but first remember to remove the measuring probes. So right now, our fuse needs to be replaced. This can happen in real life, and you have to replace the fuse in your meter. Let's put our probes back. And if we click on this, our meter is back up and working because we replaced the fuse. All right. Now, here it's asking us to calculate what? What is the total current flowing through the circuit? To calculate this, add all the currents you measured earlier together. In a parallel circuit, the total circuit current equals the sum of the individual currents flowing through each branch of the circuit. So all of these branches, they're all in parallel, four total. And down here, we add a couple more limbs to these branches. All right, but all of it is coming from here, the positive side, and flowing back through here on this bottom wire to the negative side. So we need to add up what this was, which was three. This one's three. This one was four. And whatever you got here, so here we know it's three, three, four, and what this is, and that's one of these readings right here. I will tell you this, it's not one amp because we've already said three amps and three amps makes six. And then four amps here, <coughs> here make 10. So what's left here? All right, so that's when you gotta have to figure out and come up with this answer as well. Hopefully this helps you out and get you going in the right direction. All right, let me know if you still need more help.